Hi, Ramsey. All right, everybody. So, get your paw out of here, Ramsey. Don't touch all this stuff. In case you're wondering, the recipe that we're going to be making in this video is going to be all this stuff right here. In this package, this packet, this box, this bag, this bag, this jar involving this pan. The result is going to be what's called a five layer bar. And today we'll be making a healthy and somewhat vegan variation of this beautiful recipe. We're going to go ahead and get started. Really in order we're going to be doing Oreos as the base. Then we will continue with marshmallows, chocolate chips, pretzels, coconut, and blueberries. Let's start. So it all starts with crushing up 25 Oreos in a food processor. Just make sure it's all plugged in and we're going to give it a whirl. You can alternatively choose to crush them up in a hefty bag using a meat tenderizer to crush them. But this takes much, much, much longer. So if you want a very fine, coarse texture, use the food processor. And now that the crushing is done, you're going to pour them into a mixing bowl. And it should measure out at least one and a half cups. And as you can see, they're ready for them to melt the margarine onto so that it moistens them. So we're going to take one chunk of margarine and put it into a mug. And after that, we're going to microwave the margarine for about 30 seconds to melt it. And just like that. Melt the margarine. Now that the margarine has been melted, we are going to be pouring the margarine over the Oreo crumbs. Yum, yum, yum. So we're going to mix this together to make sure that it is all nice and moistened. So it might get to a fertilizer-like consistency, and that is normal. The overall goal is to make sure it is normal so that when we prepare to dump this into the baking pan, it is as moist as possible. So we'll make sure we get all of it in there. It might look like cookie dough, though, and that is also intentional. Just making sure everything is moistened with this mixture. All right, the crushing and moistening of the Oreo crumbs is now complete. It is now time to assemble. And now we are ready to dump into a 33 by 28 by 6 centimeter pan. There are two other pans in which you can use. You can also you can dump them into a 13 by 13 by 13 centimeter pan or a 13 by 9 by 2 pan. But 
do take note that those pans are smaller than this one. And now we're just going to spread it around and then press it into the bottom of the pan so we can start layering the rest of the ingredients. But once you finish spreading it, you'll want to press that down all nice and neat so that we can begin our five layers. The first layer will be marshmallows. You can do one cup of mini marshmallows or you can take eight larger marshmallows and chop them in thirds. Both methods will ensure that the first layer covers our base. It took me a long time to find a marshmallow that was actually made with a gar powder. The second layer will be two cups of bittersweet chocolate morsels, otherwise called chocolate chips. This is a time lapse. And here is the second cup, which I will show in real time. Ideally, you want to make sure that the majority of the layer covers the marshmallows, but it's not always perfect. And you are totally going to love the third layer. And luckily, this is the only measurement that involves a fraction. And that will be half a cup of crushed pretzels. And we're just going to sprinkle that over the first and second layers. The fourth layer is going to be one cup of sweetened flaked coconut. And as you can see, it kind of looks just like cheese by the way it appears as I put it over the previous layers. And we're just going to place that, ensuring that it covers the rest of the layers. And where this recipe gets its taste comes from the last layer. The base of this recipe was just part of it, but the other part is coming up. The last layer is going to be blueberries. You're going to want to use about a cup but alternatively um, if there isn't enough in the blueberry container to make that amount you can just use whatever is in it assuming they're still fresh of course and we're just gonna plop all the blueberries over the entire top of these five layer bars and once you're finished with the blueberries um, they'll be ready to go into the oven now here are the baking instructions for this recipe. All right, everybody. With all the layers on, we are going to be putting this into a 30 degree oven and we are going to bake this for 350 minutes. For those of you that have to go watch a stream on Twitch or something or attend a live session on YouTube or any other virtual thingy, whatever, um, here's the finished uh, product um, and it looks so good so here's how to cut it up the first thing is you have to let it cool for about half an hour then start by cutting it lengthwise and then cut into cubes 
and those are the bars. Now that first bar you see it right there may be ugly coming out and that is normal. And that is the finished product. And it is so good. You're going to love all the flavors coming together. <laughs> and that's the recipe. <laughs> the term of the week is foliage, which is basically a collective of leaves, such as the fall foliage phenomenon that happens once every year around many temperate climate zones, except for California where nearly all the trees are evergreen. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and... We'll see you guys next time.